This, friends, is my steak video. Let's go fireside. I can't wait no more. I have a huge fucking T-bone on the grill. Here we go. <clears throat> my birthday eve. Excuse me. My birthday. Well, hell, it's my post-birthday, but it's November 12th, the night of, into the a.m. hours, technically, November 13th. On the astrological calendar, I guess. I don't know whose fucking calendar you're on, but here I am in the backyard of Columbus, Ohio. Nearly a full freaking, nearly a full freaking, freaking moon. There's Orion. You cannot nearly no way see that on this crappy phone. But look at this fucking beast of a T-bone cooking fire side. Look at this. I rigged up this giddy up stainless steel. I got this out. Of, I can't even remember where I got this at right out. I told you in the happy birthday thank you one. And I've been waiting and I've already had this pre-rigged over an open oak wood fire. God forbid if I drop this in there, party's over. Oh my God. Look at that slab of sizzling beast. That we man, like Joe Carney and I talk about all the time. He's the only Mensa Club member that I know of that I speak to, him and Dwayne. And Dwayne's been busy for the last 26 years. He's had... You know, he's been around three women, three matriarch women. He's, you know, what, what, what else I'll say? God bless you, buddy. I wish I were you. But anyhow, Joe and I know that, you know, the men are nomadic. Like, you know, just 150 years ago in the West, while the Civil War was going on, cowboy folk, men, ate just like this by the stars. They eat beasts like this, the cow that they herd, the, the, the very cows that they herded. That I'm about to freaking enjoy. I'm sorry to say this. No, I'm not sorry. My... Oh, goodness, get around here. My T-bone, like, c c can't stand you. When I went inside, get this to put some salt and vinegar and salt on this. Not vinegar and salt. Salt and onion and pepper. Damn it! Onion, salt, garlic salt. And a little bit of lemon. Something out of the season was in there. A Costanza was on TV, which means a Seinfeld. I come back out here because my steak was, I will cook this some bitch up. Stands up, can't stand you. Look at this beast. I'm gonna have my way with uh, with my fingers. I'm not gonna be able to get that on tape because I am gonna have to literally scoot that across, use my rag to grab it, uh, and have my way with it. I guess the point was that I have my my bunker gear right here, which is a moving blanket. Let me talk over here. Well, you can't see none of that. I'm sorry. I guess you can't see my face either. Out here, what if I get down here like this? Oh, Jesus, Joseph, Mary, everything holy and scary. That fire's about a bazillion degrees. <whistles> that solid oak ain't, ain't playing. Hey, you see them drippings, though? That's just straight beef drippings. Whatever that is, is the beast of the the beast of the cow. That was Angus. They said it made it made it more taste better, better tastier. And by God, if you were something, if you were herding cattle across the Great West. The Great West Divide, in the time like when Lewis and Clark and them other dudes took the curious people and exploited Sacagawea and Pocahontas, exploited them for their for their knowledge of the land, like the evil men that made you work for a worthless dollar bill. I'm eating steak like they did. The cowboys, the real cowboys of the Western frontier, did on much like a day like this, under the stars, with their favorite hat on. That's me and my crochet hat, by Orion and a full moon enjoying beasts that we are herding nomadic as that may sound but that's exactly what we were meant to be doing as a species you know a successful upright walking bipedal species that we are you know like in the 18 let's say 18 little house on the prairie days the cattlemen the, the ponderosas of the group jesus don't let me flip that son of a bitch in or i'll go after that but this t-bone steak is i'm about to show you i, I can't because i don't have a cameraman is done over a fire, medium, medium. I only found this out because Greg Wise helped me out realize that uh, accidentally one night. We was all boozed up on some good fresh wine, and I was fucking starving, and I, he put a steak on, and I couldn't wait. I went in after it. He had flipped it like twice. And that son of a bitch was fire roasted burn on one side, and I made love to that steak so well. It was the best steak I ever had in my life. And I remember, why would anyone want to burn that? Some some good steaks, they you know, they only cook it like this. Well, they can only dream of cooking it like this. I'm fire roasting this. Like for Christ's sakes, like the Ponderosa, like little Joe and fucking Toss did. 18, you know, how many years that it is? Oh my god, look at that. 
You guys don't have smell vision, but I gotta go. Um, this is Mickey signing out for his steak vision. I'm gonna have my way with this freaking T-bone, Angus. As if I herded it across the thing and didn't pay no worthless fucking dollar bills for it. Under the stars of Ryan, under the snooty women who are my neighbors, the genius millionaire lesbians, and some other working class fool over here makes about 800000 a year. Networker. He's like Jeff Wise. He's a computer networking dude. I don't know. But the point is, my birthday is right here and now, ending with a fire uh, harvested of wood that I cut up at my labor. Like a chuck wagon would be surrounded by a fire that actually, the, the chuck wagons would keep sometimes burning. That the Indians showed them how to do that. The Indians used to get that from an iron place. Uh, an iron uh, door turned upside down. The Indians would carry a tiny fire with them for hundreds of miles. And them fucking things that they dragged behind them. The Indians would car carry fires burning. Literally a smolting fire. If you look at one of those things that are called that, they call it like a, an Apache match or something. But that's actually, the Indians would keep fires burning for days. Because fire is the giver of life. Ask Madison Marie with an audio tag what that means. You know, fire is the giver of life. You did not live without life. fire. Water, earth, wind, and fire. You did not live without it. Remember that, folks. Good night. I'm going to have my fucking way with this steak. I wish I had a girlfriend. Oh, my God. My God, I'm not going to forget you this time. Nicole Marie Manak. Her name is Nicole Kelly. She's a girlfriend that lives in fucking Charleston, West Virginia. You know, but we talk on the phone, and then she doesn't talk. You know, she's, she's, she's going to hate me for this, but she's a convicted felon, and I don't judge her for that. <clears throat> she is a matriarch. She's about five fucking foot nine, loves to wheel high, wear high heels, so that makes her about like six one. It does not bother me. I fell in love with her a long time ago before my sister broke us up. Ironically, my sister got us together and broke us up, strangely enough. And that's no surprise to my brother. He knew that. Um, and Nicole, I love her, but I haven't been able to get to her. She's in Charleston, West Virginia. With her son Chase, she's out of, uh, what do you call it, prison. She's working bartending jobs, scrap bar. She's really good at that. She's like a female Mickey. And I can't wait to see her. And I flirt with a lot of people on Facebook. I know that. If you was to ask this person and that person, I say I love you to many, many people on Facebook. Because up here at 48 years of old age, I feel that way. When that smile comes across my fucking face, living like sling blade in the garage, I feel love for that one person. And D, uh, D, what's her name that makes me sit out? Kelly Sacker, my God. Her and her, her uh, behemoth attitude for, towards Trump is, is, my God, unparalleled. You know, and it's, only, it, it, it's only attributed to her tenacity. You know, it can be attributed to her greatness. You know, but, but I say I love her to her. And my goodness, Brenda, stop it. And, you know, my daughter I love. And hell, dudes I love. And Dwayne. You know, that's the loving spirit, what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't have two pennies to rub together. So, mind you that, Facebook, I'm going to get the fuck off of here, kill this steak that's already been killed, act like I herded it myself, and enjoy it, and again, give the bone back to Mother Nature Earth, which I truly believe is the Lord above, um, or the God, or Jesus Christ, whichever you call it. I don't care if it's this, you know, if it's, what do you call that, if it's uh, controversial, that's truly what I believe is one and the same. And I'm here on my birthday saying thank you all, uh, especially to this Black Angus beef cow, wherever you were sometime, to give your life back to earth for my enjoyment. I'm going to have my way with you, and then I'm going to rescue a puppy tomorrow to continue my birthday happiness and my criminology. Ask Cheryl Winnings about that, which used to be Cheryl Hartsock. It was an incredible, an incredible, incredible moment. The feelings and her husband friended me and he's on board and he'll see all this bullshit I'm blabbing. Oh, I've told her that I love her because I do her, her and her husband, you know what I mean? She, I even told her honestly that she's attractive to me because she is. I'm a 48 year old mesomorphic alpha male that's had my that's been neutered that likes to eat steak. And Cheryl's a beautiful matriarch woman that dude was lucky enough to catch on to. You know, I have respect her for all the world. I'm glad to say that out loud. But anyhow, it's another whole nother story. <clears throat> but Nicole. Marie, my girlfriend, hopefully, hell, she could be a meth crack horse still for all I know. I don't know. You know, I just talked to her over via text, but I'm saying that. I'm signing off. God bless you. God love you. Let me focus in on this fire and steak right here. Focus. Go ahead. This video, this camera's not working. Well, there it is. The outline of my T-bone. Like, George, can't stand you. T-bone. Over and out. Talk at you later.